everyone. My name is Astrid Reeves and thank you for joining me in my studio today. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I've got a 6 inch by 12 inch panel and I'm going to have this beautiful green as a base color and then I'm going to do mauve, white, and oh citrine of course <laughs> gotta have a metallic in there um let me see i wonder if oh you know i learned my lesson on my mom's painting i'll tag that up above not to put too much in on the panel it's it's kind of deceiving think oh let me do this this and this but then it just winds up being way too busy and um, yeah you know it doesn't take long <laughs> doesn't take much and it just the panel is full and it's too busy and I don't like that I like to have nice restful spaces so I'm just gonna put this uh, base color down and it's a little bit on the thick side I'm not sure why it's so thick so yeah, let's see if we can't use this up. And then I'll supplement it with, like with my mom's birthday present, I, I don't know, it just all uh, flowed off the canvas. I wonder if this is, I don't know. I don't know what, what pouring medium this is. Um, actually, pretty sure that if this is left over from my mom's painting, I'm pretty sure I use golden. Golden is my go-to. It never fails me, actually. Nothing sucks worse than to have a painting, you know, it looks great and then it dries. And you're like, oh my God, what happened while I was gone, right? So yeah, that's a painful, painful thing to have happen. All right, I'm just gonna smooth this out. This is actually, the original color is sap green. That's the starting color. And then I added white and black to this, to this color, the base color, and look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? I love it. I think it's the best. So soothing, so peaceful. All right, so what am I gonna do? Well, first of all, I love this mauve color. Just gorgeous. So I'm going to put a little bit of white down. I think what I'll do is I'll do like a flower here and a flower here, and then just kind of maybe a little something up there just to keep it really simple. All right, so I'm gonna put the white down first. Do the citrine for the leaves. I'm gonna do citrine mixed with, because the citrine is metallic, just gorgeous. Uh, mixed with this, you know, some of the actual sap green. There we go. A little white on top. All right, we'll do that first. Okay, good. So now, yes, good. Now I'm gonna add the flower. I'll just put the white down first. <laughs> Maybe I won't do a flower right there. 
We'll see. We'll see what happens. making it kind of wispy this time. You know, making it a little bit not so clustered so tightly. Oh, this will be interesting to see how this dries. Okay. Oh, that's so nice. See, I've got this going on down here and nice big restful space up here. I think what I'm gonna do, let's see, I'd like a little bit more, I wish it would drizzle more. <laughs> Um, just want a little more definition down here. Okay, good. So now, what do I do up here? I've got this beautiful blank slate. Don't want to do too much with it. But I think what I'd like to do is just kind of little mauvey pinky flower up here. <laughs> mauvey pinky, how's that for a color? <laughs> oh, super technical, right? Yeah, okay, so, um, oops, put the white down first. Whoa. Oh my God, that would have been very bad. I love the wispy white, you know, that is really cool. Really, really cool. All right, so drizzle a little white, whoa. Definitely don't want it any bigger than that. I'm probably gonna blow it off that way just to be on the safe side. Whoa, drizzle, there we go. And let's add a little bit of pink. Hopefully that works together. <laughs> we'll find out. Hey, drizzlies, oh my gosh. Okay, a little more white. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Okay, so now I'm trying to decide, is that too much? What do you guys think, huh? Did I put too much up in that upper corner? Is it too different? There, that's better. 
You know, I love using my breath. This is why I developed the technique of breath art, you know, so that, because I can really control it much better than a, a blow dryer. A blow dryer is fun, don't get me wrong, and I've enjoyed making many paintings uh, with my blow dryer, but uh, this is just uh, really fun to be able to get close, up close and personal, you know, with my painting and uh, making something gorgeous like that. Yeah, so I don't think I'm, there's not going to be much more that I'm going to do with this and uh, stay tuned for the dried painting. Okay, so here is the beautiful dried painting. I love that green and purple together and it's just such a soothing green. The background is the grayed down green that I made and then the brighter green in this corner, for example, is the pure color. Just love, love, love the combinations and the delicate layering of colors. And there's a little bit more pink up here. And there it is. So I hope you like how it turned out. I love it. I'd love to hear what you think. So please, uh, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and I appreciate the support. And then leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching and thanks for joining me in my studio today. See you next time. Bye.